Hello folks, welcome back to another video. Um, hopefully uh, a short one, uh, which I know for me isn't normal. Um, firstly, thanks to all the, there's been a you know sudden surge of subscribers. Can't thank you enough. Please do keep hitting that subscribe button um, and you know liking, sharing, all that usual stuff. I feel always feel really awkward asking for that, like I'm you know begging, but it really really does make the world or oh, the world. It really does make the world a difference. Anyway, um, also ABR festival. Uh, I was there this weekend. Just gone. What an amazing event! Phenomenal. Highly recommended. I got to meet username K. Well, I've already met her in the past, but I got to meet her again. Wheelie Good TV. Carl from Just the Way It Is. Uh, Tom from a bike thing. I saw Steve. Didn't get to speak to him. Uh, you know, you know James from Shiny Side Up. You know Valet. Um, you and and a few others. Anyway, purpose of this video. So this is you know specifically aimed at the AIO six. However, it the same may be true for the AIO five, but I don't have the light with me anymore uh, to act, to actually you know test this out. But this works for the AIO six. One question I had when I first got my AIO six. Um, and I've seen, you know, pop up a couple of times on the Chiggy Facebook group is if I don't want to use the app on my phone to download the footage off of the unit, when I put it in my Mac, Mac specifically, it doesn't, you know, recognize it. Now I had this issue myself, works fine if you put it in a Windows machine, uh, but on a Mac, it doesn't work. Now, I misspoke on the fa the Facebook uh, group only yesterday, and a chap, I think his name was Stephen Noriega or something, um, kindly you, you know pointed out that my answer was actually, although partly accurate, not quite. There is a way to make this work. Now I thought that the I know Macs have a lot of issues with, you know, SD, you know, SD cards and external drives that have been formatted on a Windows computer. Um, that's always been a bit of a Mac thing or you know, almost like Apple don't really want you, you know, uh, actually doing it. But I didn't think there was a workaround for this, but there is. Uh, which, considering I work in IT, I should have known. So thank you to that, you know, guy. Like I say, I think his name was, you know, you know, Stephen. Uh, so I spent some time uh, this evening uh, trying to get the step, the steps down for it because it is a little bit frustrating if you only have a Mac and you want to download a lot of footage off the SD card that you've put inside your AIO. AI6, your only option is to, you know, via uh, the app, which there's nothing wrong with the app. It works absolutely fine. But if you want to get a lot, a lot, a lot of footage off, so in my case, I've got a, a 128 gig SD in mine. Uh, I know it will take a 256, may even take bigger. Um, that through the app is going to take a while. Uh, like I say, no fault of you, no fault uh, of you know Chiggies. Uh, it's the same f uh, for my dash cam in uh, my car. It's just a limitation of you know downloading those files uh, across Wi-Fi. So we're going to talk about how you're going to do it. So the first thing you need is to obviously remove the SD card from your AIO6, which if you put one in there, you should know how to uh, remove it. But if that, you know, focus is okay, it's behind the little flap on the right hand side. Just go ahead and remove the, uh, the SD card. Um, and from now on, you're not gonna have to look at my sweaty face, I got got a bit, got a bit, got a bit of sunburn at a, a got a bit of sunburn at a, BR, but it was worth it. So we're going to go over to my Mac and do the rest from there. Okay, so 
at this point you should be at your Mac with your you know SD card don't insert it just yet so if you've never used a thing on a Mac called uh, the terminal that is what we're gonna use so don't be too scared you can't really break anything um, I think the worst you can do is to remove the SD card um, unexpectedly uh, but that is the case uh, regardless so if to get into uh, the program that is, that is called terminal if you do if you hold the command key and press space you will see a little search box like this and if you start to type the word terminal you will see it there either hit enter or you know click on that and you will get a windows you know similar to this now there is a one time only task that you have to do which is to create a folder somewhere on your mac that you want to mount the SD card you know into now if you type pwd and hit enter that will show you where where your where the terminal is you know you know currently which in my case is you know slash users slash paul jones now i don't want it in that folder i i want it i want my footage to show as a subfolder of the documents folder so if I do CD and then that, as you can see, we are now inside there. So what we're going to do now is we're going to make a folder. So I'm going to type, you know, sudo, you know, sudo because you may or may not need, you know, admin rights, mkdir, and then I'm going to call the folder uh, Chiggy SD card. You can call it whatever you like. And we get asked for a password, which is going to be your user password, which I typed wrong. And there we go. We now have uh, a folder. So if I do you know, you know, ls minus l, I now have a folder called Chiggy SD card. Fan wonderful. So that you only have to do that task once. So what you now need to do is to put in your SD card, which I've just done, and you're gonna get this error. Just hit ignore because that is the Mac not being able to mount the file system that is on the card so what we're going to do now i'm just going to hit clear just to get rid of all that so what we're going to do now is we're going to type in disk util list and then we're going to do external physical because we don't want it to show all of all of all of the disks uh we only want it we only want the ones that are, you know, external, uh, which the SD card is. So, so I'm seeing, I'm seeing two here, which is disc number six, which is uh, a two terabyte disc that I've got attached on my Mac, and we have this disc eight, which is one hundred and twenty-eight, which is which which is 128 gig. Now I know that that is my SD card because it is a, a 128 gig. So the important parts here is that this is that this is disk eight and where the actual files are, even though that says Windows N TFS, it isn't, um, is this part here, disk eight S1. So what we're going to do now is we're going to type sudo again, mount minus T, uh, and then we're going to specify the file system, which is MS-DOS, and then we're going to specify uh, the volume that we want to mount. So in my case, it's going to be slash dev slash disk 8 S1, which is obviously this here. Now, that number may that number may that number may you know you know differ for you but in my case that's what it is 
and then we're going to put a space and then because we're already in the documents folder we don't have to specify the entire path we can just we 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 can just put that and then if we hit enter if i've done this right that is a success you know you know anything other than that would would be would be of would be uh, obviously classed as an error so if we now cd into chiggy you know sd card do an ls minus l as you can see these are all of the folders that are on the sd card and if i go into you know video uh do an ls minus l again uh, so we have we have a folder for the rear camera and for the front so i'm going to cd into front and then we're going to do an ls minus l there and as you can see there are all of the files now what you will also find is you're more or less now done with uh, the terminal window but i'm going to leave it open anyway so if we now switch over here over to finder we'll now see we'll we will now see that you know folder here now what i have noticed is depending on where the finder reloads you may see this as the folder that you made so in this case i can go in i can browse I could you you know you know copy all of my files you know off here uh, and put them on put them on on my Mac for safe keeping uh, which I would imagine would be uh, the reason that you would be doing this in the first in the first place or trying to find a specific file and you don't really want to do it on uh, the app via your phone so if I just go through and pick one of these, hit the space bar, you know, as you can see, there is the footage. Fine. So, uh, like I say, I can now move that uh, and put that, you know, anywhere I want. So what you will also, you know, see there are some art, there are some other folders, and I will delve into these in a more you know detailed video at a lay to date but i wanted just to sort of get this out uh asap um so now what you will also notice is is if i close finder and reopen it again and go back to the documents folder you'll now see the jiggy folder has is that is it is actually not there it's now showing as a mounted removable drive so if i go into that we see the exact same thing. I just wanted to call that out because it seems on closing and reopening Finder that happens. Now I will say I'm using the beta version of the new version of Mac OS. So this that may be a little quirk or uh, a bug, um, but uh, I just thought I'd mention it. So anyway, so, so let's say you 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 know let's say you're now finished oh you will all you will also sometimes you know notice it it'll it'll act it will actually show it will actually show here so if i uh if i relaunch you know finder it might do it yeah they they there you can see it actually shows as you know as an as an external drive here and i can browse the file system so when you want to get when you want to take the card out, um, if you go back into the terminal window, and I would recommend CDing all the way back out to the documents folder so that you're not sitting inside of that mounted folder. And then what you're going to do is you're going to run sudo disk util unmount disk slash dev slash disk eight in my case so not the eight s1 the eight which is the main you know, you, you know card itself and there we go unmount was successful now again th this may be a little quirk of this workaround but you will still you know you know see this here um but that's fine um the card is on unmounted i can now eject it if I can get my nail onto the card. And then what you will notice is if I put it back in again, 
I will again get the that error message which I'm going to ignore and then I'm just going to find the original so this is where we searched so now what you'll see is it's now showing as disk 11 um, again this is a little quirk after a reboot of your Mac I think it clears that down but it doesn't cause any functional issue so if you ever want to mount it again you will need to the only things that you'll need to run is this to search for the actual physical disk you, you know number and then the command to actually mount it so everything's going to be the same it's still going to have s1 on the end but it, this time instead of disk 8 it's going to be disk 11 and then it's there and then if i go back to here there we go we can see all of all of the folders again so there we have it very quick well uh, as quick as i could make it in the video description i will stick all of the steps down in a text format potentially chiggy might be adding this to their knowledge base um but obviously this is done at your own risk um although this is pretty straightforward you know obviously i can't take responsibility for any you know mishaps older versions of you know mac os that might not work in quite the same way but if you really want to access the footage on a mac without having to you know you know jump through hoops and you know pay for apps that you i think there are some apps that you can download and pay for on a mac that will you know do this but they're mostly for NT ntfs drives i've yet to find one that that supports fat 32 so yeah thanks for watching and uh, i'll catch you in the next video